All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to clean a Bosch, a Bosch dishwasher. Right here, I have a Bosch dishwasher, and I'm gonna be cleaning and freshening this dishwasher up. So what I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using Cascade Platinum dishwasher cleaner, as well as some other things I'm gonna be using to make sure that the dishwasher is clean and running properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. You see right there, that is the Bosch uh, signature right there. All right, and this is the dish washer. A lot of controls that are on here. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, all right? And in here, there are is a filter that you can actually access. And one of the things that you're gonna to wanna to do is remove some of the dishes. If you have any dishes in here, go ahead and remove these and make sure these are out. Now, my dishwasher currently smells a little funky and it appears clean, right? But there are some things that I need to do, all right? So I'm gonna first, I'm gonna take down, take out the bottom rack, put that to the side, and then go in, go in, all the way in, and then right here is a filter. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and twist this, and then pick up the filter like that. Now, this is the filter right here. You'll Now, what I try to do is, because the water in my unit, has uh, a lot of calcium in it. Calcium gets built up. And so what I'm gonna wanna do is clean out this filter. Now let me go ahead and do that. And also, once you pull this out, you wanna check in there to see if there is any debris caught in there that you can pick up with your hand whatsoever. So go ahead and pick up any debris that is down in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and f clean this filter. All right, so I have the filter attached, and now it's time to clean it. Now what you can do is separate the filter from this metal mesh plate in order to clean the filter more efficiently. All you do is like simply slap this off, and you can see that there is food, gunk, trapped in here at the top of this, as well as in the top of this right here. See all of that? That is making the dishwasher smell. So what you want to do with this is kind of rinse this, you can rinse all of that off this way, all right? So try to rinse as much as you possibly can off with just water flowing. Let me show you that. Look at that, look at that gunk right there. You want to get all of that off because that's making everything smell, all right? So you're gonna to want to get all of that off as much as you can with water, all right? So make sure you get all of that off the mesh and if you need to, if you can't really get as much off, off of rinsing water, you can also detach this part from the mesh filter by taking these little snaps right here on this side and that side and pressing them in like this and it pulling it out right here. And now you have it separated, you can get even more clean with this. You see what I'm doing right here? I'm rinsing it off. Now, if you come up here and look closely, there is a lot of gunk in there as well as calcium deposit. So if you have an old toothbrush right here, you have an old toothbrush, take the old toothbrush and just like scrub it along, just like that to remove the gunk, to loosen the gunk and rinse it off just like that. Just get that gunk, a lot of the gunk, it's coming off with a toothbrush, a little bit of mechanical removing of the gunk. And you can also get on the inside of the filter as well. So I'm just taking this and taking along the sides, going up and down, loosening up the gunk, some of the calcium that is loose, and really getting it off. All right, you see that? Getting it off. See, a lot of it ca it came off right here just by doing that. All right, and so again, the same thing with this right here. You can take this. If it's a lot of oil on it, you can take a little bit of soap. Right here, I have Myers Clean Soap. Take a little bit of that. And just taking it and going like this will actually help remove some of the gunk as well. So take that, it loosens it up. Try to get all corners in there because there could be a lot of gunk all in here. So take the brush and just go along it, removing it. Take this, going along. And if you have a lot of calcium buildup, sometimes if I have calcium buildup, 
you can take a little bit of white distilled vinegar and pour it on there. Let it sit for about 10 minutes and dissolve and then try with a toothbrush to get it off. If not, you can actually take a bowl, fill it with the vinegar, soak the, um, soak the uh, filter in there for about an hour or so and that can help remove the calcium buildup. So it looks like a, the calcium buildup is not too harsh on this filter this time, because I clean this quite often. So I'm just gonna take the brush and continue to clean around the edges right here. Make sure you get all that gunk out because this is contributing to the smell of the dishwasher, all right? You wanna get all of that off. Use some soap, more soap if you need to. More soap like that. Get that off. Get around there. And then rinse it off, all right? Make sure you rinse up all the soap off because you don't want to put extra soap, especially this type of soap, inside, back inside of the dishwasher. All right, so I'm gonna get all of this off. Like that, get all the extra soap off. Make sure it gets rinsed well, really well. If you look at this, you can see all, all that gunk that was on there is now it's now clean. You no longer see any of that gunk on there. All right, so I'm get all of this off. And don't forget to get this part right here. Make sure the gunk gets off of this. All right, so you have the gunk off of that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this and then snap this back in. Remember how you take this, snap this back in, like that. And then push this back in up here, to have it the right way. I think it's right here. Put that in place. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this back into the dishwasher. All right, so before I put this back in, I have a lot of gunk on the side. So what I'm gonna do is take a wet cloth and then remove the gunk that's on the sides like this up. Just remove the gunk from the sides and pull that out right there. All right, pretty cool. All right, so now that I removed the gunk that's on the sides, I'm gonna go ahead and place this in here, back into the way it was. And then once it's in there, I'm gonna go ahead and twist it to lock it back into place. Do you see how it lines up like that? All right, now I'm ready to put the Cascade Platinum in there. Let's see how it goes. All right, so I have the Cascade Platinum dishwasher. It says it helps eliminate lime scale, grease, and odors in your machine. That's exactly what I wanna do. So let's go over how to use this. So what you do with this, you basically, you make sure, I'm gonna go over this, make sure you empty the dishwasher. Simply place one pack in the main dispenser cup, close the dispenser, let the let it do the cleaning. A second pack may be required for machines with heavy buildup. So if you have heavy buildup, you may have to go through this cycle again. Recommended to be used once a month, every month. Use Cascade Platinum between uses to help keep machine sparkling. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up. So here is the pack right here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this and pull out the pack. And I'm just gonna put this in, normally like I do uh, a Cascade Platinum pack in there. All right, the Cascade, uh, uh, you know, dishwasher pod in there. So let me go ahead and put this in there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. And I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in here normally like I normally do, put that in close it. I'm going to take this rack. You want to put the rack back in there because you want the rack to be cleaned as well. If it is any lime scale grease or anything else on that, you want this to be cleaned. So I'm going to go ahead and place this in here. This place still smells a little bit. All right. So I have that in there. And so I'm going to close it. And then the setting that I'm going to use, I'm actually going to do heavy because I want this to be thoroughly clean. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. See, it's on right here, and then it has selections all over here. All right, so I'm gonna go with heavy, all right? And I want it to be dry when it's done, or sanitize. All right, there, have it sanitize. Extra dry, it's gonna take a while. 
right here, it's gonna take actually about three hours. All right, I want this to be thoroughly clean. All right, so once I have that selection, I'm gonna go ahead and start, and let's see what it looks like and smells like after I get it uh, complete this cycle. Let's go ahead and do it. Press start and close it. Let's see. Indicator that the light is on. Let it rip. All right, the wash is done. Now I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna smell it. You're gonna have to take my word for it. I'll, I'll tell you if it doesn't smell fresh and I'm gonna check to see if it's really clean. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And it actually smells really fresh. I did the cycle, I did the heavy cycle, and then I did sanitize and extra dry. Okay, I wanted to get this thoroughly clean. I wanted to get the dirt grime off. You can take a look in there. Looks sparkling clean. So any calcium deposits that were built up, the Cascade Platinum Dishwasher Cleaner actually dissolves calcium deposits. So it smells fresh, it smells clean. I'm ready to add dishes to this to get them clean and smelling fresh. And there is no odor from the dishwasher. All right, let me know. All right, if you have any questions, thanks a lot for watching.